Harvest, powered by Gold Lithium, returns to the hottest track in Iowa, Cedar Falls Motorsports Park, August 4th through the 6th. 2023. Friday kicks off with the return of the Mullis Race Cars Dragster Shootout. 64 entries battling for a brand new 2023 Mullis Dragster. Action continues with the Wells Racing Promotions versus Gulf Star Bracket Races Team Race 23. To the left, Team Wells Racing Promotions. How about take one, be dead zero? That's how you get it done. This invitation only single lap showdown features 18 of the best bracket racers in the Midwest competing for the glory, the bragging rights, the trophy and the cash. Yeah. The Saturday, Sunday 11K main events are back and better than ever with increased round money plus additional cash money round prizes both days. Cash Harvest is capped at only 300 entries, so be sure to lock your spot by pre-entering April 14th at golfstartv.com slash bracket races. Don't miss the Advantage RVs. Cash, cash Harvest, Harvest, powered by Gold Lithium, at Cedar Falls Motorsports Park, August 4th to the 6th, 2023. Visit GolfStarTV.com slash Bracket Races or follow Golfstar Bracket Races on Facebook for more information. All right, guys, welcome back to the garage. We got the trailer in. Exciting things to come today. You guys, we're going to be installing the X-Track into the trailer and uh, getting going on some of the organizational type needs that we have inside of this trailer. A lot to do, a lot going on. We got... The old man's already got it going on, getting some of the shelving built. This is the extract product that will be going in the trailer. I got a microwave sandwich and the old girl over here. Let's go. Wait, I might have ordered on her. Product that we're installing in the trailer. This is like an X track product. It's 12 gauge thickness, powder coated black. Um, I really like this design. It's got like the X um, and also like a lot of them that you see will just have a blank spot here. This has an extra connector, just like this is like a standard E track, uh, is just a bunch of these. X track gives you a little bit of flexibility on how you connect things to this, a little bit more uh, flexible, a little bit more modular. Um, this is a little bit more affordable actually so I uh, went ahead and got got some pretty cool product the only downfall that I've found to this so far is I don't know if it was from shipping but they aren't exactly perfectly flat so as you can see in the footage uh, there's a little bit of a hop on a skateboard and do a couple ollies operation to get this thing flattened out. So that is what we're installing in the trailer. I'm really pumped about this you guys. I even grabbed some little plastic uh, end caps just to kind of give it a finished look 
There's probably a couple places inside of the trailer uh, just to give it a little bit cleaner install. Uh, so we are locked and loaded, ready to go on our brand new Aero trailers from Advantage RVs. As you guys know, this video along with all the trailer build series videos is brought to you by Advantage RVs. And what that means is we're gonna be giving away some more prize packages courtesy of Advantage RVs. So let's head back to the desk and do that right now. The party lights are on because the excitement levels are high because we are going to be giving away Aero Trailers hat, Advantage RVs visor. Okay, Advantage RV's t-shirt, Aero Trailers long sleeved t-shirt, are they still called t-shirt? And a Cash Harvest t-shirt for good measure, because why not? It is literally so easy to get into these giveaways. All you have to do is leave a comment down below, do it on this video, and you'll possibly win an awesome prize package from Advantage RV's on the next video. This, this is how it works. Let's get in here and pick a winner from the last video. Taking home the prize package is William T. Johnson, who says the trailer, it looks great. Thank you, William. Appreciate your comment. Thank you so much for your viewership on this video. My email address is shown on the screen. Shoot me an email so I can get your shipping address and get all of this stuff headed your way. Now let's get back to the trailer. At this point, we do have all of the X-Track installed at the, what I'm calling the upper level, even though there will be a little bit of it even higher yet by the time we're done. But uh, as you guys can see, upper level, we got this set at about 48 inches to the top. Um, and we have, you know, one set of tie downs up higher. We're working on installing the lower level. Uh, honestly, the lower level is probably what will get used the most. I mean, this is where you're gonna be tying down gas jugs. You're gonna be tying down generators and, and things like that up against the wall you have plenty of connection points uh, if you have something taller like for example on this side I'm gonna have all the canopies and and stuff sitting up on this fender well uh, we'll have plenty of places to tie it up you know with the 48 inch tall section so I'm really liking how this is looking so far I'm not sure how far we're gonna get today but I actually have an idea that I'm gonna be putting some shelving together this is a very very rough and crude sketch you guys but uh gonna be taking some two buys and some lumber kind of got a little bit of a start here just to we were you know, kind of practicing up some fitment making sure this was actually going to work but uh, the plan is to actually make some racking that connects to the wall via this x track that we can then use to store t-shirts and all of the totes and all the stream equipment that we need to in this trailer but then it's completely removable by just unclipping from the x track just in case, you know, I gotta throw a dragster in this thing and go racing somewhere someday. You know, we wanna maintain that capability just in case, uh, but it's gonna be pretty sweet if we can have this shelving that, that is fairly simple to just remove completely. Not sure if we're gonna get that far today. We will see a uh, lower level of extract going in right now. Had to make that one just go longer. There wasn't a stud to get this short piece, so we, we welded these two together. Doesn't exactly look black, does it? Pretty brown. Pretty <laughs> brown indeed. <laughs> So this is pretty much a standard tote that's used in my operation. I love these totes, big old handle, wheels on the back. One of the shelving units is complete here. It's going to be a total of three of these in this trailer. This particular shelf is kind of extra big. It's extra big relative to that tote, but I have one huge tote that goes on the floor that is the reason why this needed to be sized 
the way it's sized. Just a little extra, extra big here. I know someone's gonna comment like, you really should have a support across the front of that OSB, but I just couldn't do it and make the totes that I wanted to fit in here fit. Uh, I would have had to only had three on top of each other instead of being able to have four compartments. Uh, so that is the reason why we just decided to go with the extra heavy duty three quarter inch OSB. Uh, plenty of strength supported on all three sides, uh, but was able to you know shorten this whole unit up and end up getting four four slots. That's that's nice. They're somewhat easily removable, as you can see. They just attach right to the wall. On this piece of X-Track, uh, there's a small connector. You just flip this little tab back, flip the tab back on the other side, tilt the whole unit out just a little bit, and it'll come unsnapped from the X-Track, and we can remove the entire shelf and the other two shelves that I plan to put in here uh, completely and basically have this trailer be completely wide open um, if we need to. But anyways, it is about 5 Past 5 p.m. on the Sunday, so I uh, need to get the kids home. Need to wrap this video up. Wish we were able to make it all the way through getting all the shelves done, but we'll have to save that for another video. So definitely hit the subscribe button. Definitely comment down below. Thank you to Kevin and everybody at Advantage RVs for your support on this project. I'm really digging how this is coming along. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one later. You guys, we're almost out of snow out here. Finally, she's melting. It is so, so beautiful out here, you guys. This is really, really getting me revved up to get to a racetrack. I mean, I feel like it's getting close now. Problem is the weather has been such an issue all, you know, all off season here that we're just way behind on like getting everything ready. Uh, but finally some decent weather here and uh, hopefully, hopefully it sticks around so we can get to a racetrack soon. Let's go. Man, that's a nice unit, yeah. How bad are you starting to want this thing out of your warehouse? Pretty bad, but pretty soon I'll get my own moved out and there'll be a little room in here. All right.